Hi everyone, just wanted to make this very quick video on how to manually upload a hardware hash into the autopilot service. Um, just to start off with, this isn't a replacement for gathering hardware hashes from the vendor in bulk. It's just a one-off, maybe for testing or if a hardware hash um, needs extracting, uh, you know, just ad hoc um, from an existing device, for example. So to get started, what we need to do first is go to Azure Active Directory. And within Azure Active Directory, you want to go to custom domain names and just gather your on Microsoft.com address. In mine, it's a little bit convoluted. Um, so bear with me when I'm typing this in. Um, but then we need to go to the actual device itself. And on this particular example, I am not joined via an Ethernet connection. So first off, uh, from the outer box experience mode, we need to um, join to the local um, Wi-Fi access point. So to get started, what we need to do is click Shift F10, which brings up the command prompt. We then need to open up the settings app. So start MS hyphen settings. Uh, network hyphen Wi-Fi. Show available networks and then connect to your network of choice. Okay, uh, just verify that you're actually on the internet. So ping Google. It's powershell.exe. And we need to change the set execution policy. Nope. Process. Okay, and then we just need to install the script um, put together by the endpoint manager community. And um, this will essentially harvest the hardware hash from locally from the device and automatically upload it into the autopilot service. I'll give that a few seconds. Okay, now using that same name, device info, PS1. So need to put in the tenant name now, so that's what we got in the first step. And at this point, it's just gathering the hardware hash. And it's going to prompt me for some credentials to upload this into the autopilot service. And you just need to sign in when it prompts, like so. There we go. And after a minute or two, it will appear in the autopilot devices view within Intune. So if we just change our screen, give us a refresh and it just takes a minute or two. So I'm just going to pause quickly. So after about two minutes, um, the Surface Go laptop appeared. So all you need to do now is wait until your autopilot profile is signed. So it says assigned here and simply restart the device and you should be ready to go. Okay, thanks very much.